Okay. Did anybody used to watch Jim Henson's The Muppets? Not Sesame Street, but The Muppets. And they used to have that pigs in space. Do anybody remember that? And the, and the, and the captain was something like Captain Kirk. The, the pig, but it was a pig. See, I may be dating myself here. Yeah. But anyway, um, uh-oh. Bend that down. Grow that way. Grow that way. So, I wanted to show y'all this. Y'all, this thing got completely and totally out of order. Okay, so that's them leaves. Today, you know, I'm used to leaves that big. <sighs> Look at this. That's ridiculous. So, this is a crook neck squash. And if I'm not mistaken, my homegirl, Lynn, sent me these uh, squash plants. Uh, my homegirl, Lynn, sent me. No, she sent me the seeds. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, Oh, hell. This, this thing is messed up. Hey, how you doing? Thank God he didn't stop in time. Oh, but she sent me these seeds a while back. And my bad sis, I ain't get a chance to plant them. Ooh, till now. But, I mean... This stuff is so big. I have to adjust my tool. Now, these aren't what she sent me. This is something else. That look like Kushaw. That's what that is. I believe that's them Kushaw that Dan sent me. Dan Permaculture Food Forest. But anyway, y'all, these must be the squash from space. I have never grown squash a squash plant that big. I've grown one this big. And the one that's vining, that's normal to me. I mean, just look at this. And I mean, my hands aren't huge, but they big enough. Um, and then I want to show y'all this. They decided to start, the females start opening. So I thought I had that one. Child, I came on this side. Now see how you can't hardly see, but look at that. Two up in there. Then I came over here, one over there. The males, y'all, have been opening. Been opening. But the females hadn't been opening, and look, this stuff done got so big, I can't even hardly get the tools to close up over it. So I'm going to have to get another piece of tool and put in this middle section. And if y'all wonder why I got this covered up like this, y'all, I'm not fooling with those vine borers. Vine borers fly and lay their eggs and stuff, and yes, you can go out here and check your stuff if you want to. But let me tell you something. Everybody's human and everybody is liable to um, make errors. And when you have this much leaves and this much coverage, you might miss an egg or two. And that missing that egg or two may cost you your whole plant. Because I, I kid you not, squash pissed me off so bad. I grew it and it got so big and pretty. And right as it started making, I be doggone if them vine borers and eat my stuff off at the ground and ate the whole plant off. I couldn't bear with no stem try to save because I've tried to save them before. I'm going to tell y'all like this, the vine and squash, like the pumpkins, the winter squash and stuff, you can bear with those vines and usually you can save them because I think I showed it some years back when my stuff got attacked The when I was growing the buttercups, they got attacked um, eight times by vine borers and and every time they was all right. I would just bury the stem and it would just keep going. Bury the stem, keep going. These like this, every time vine boards get them, the first time you get them, they, they done. So, y'all, squash from space. This is ridiculous. And this big, you got to know that the vine boards are going to find them. Um, but look, and then I'm going to tell you something. Be like me, but don't be like me, but don't be like me. Y'all see I planted that okra. Now that okra never did come up. And I'd be doggone. Let me just see, show y'all. Y'all see how that okra didn't come up? So y'all know I got to figure out how I'm going to let this okra come up. I'm going to have to redo this tool some kind of way. But I got to put me a piece over the top of there. I can't have it. I can't have it open like that. I hand pollinated all those I saw in there. That's another thing. If you're going to cover your stuff like this, you're going to have to hand pollinate. Uh... 
I'm sorry. It just is what it is. If you don't want to hand pollinate it, you don't want to take a chance, take time. You don't know how. I did a video on it years ago. There's tons of videos how to pollinate. Bull just did one. Um, the, the simple way to do it is you put on some Marvin Gaye or some Ted Dependent grass. You know what I'm saying? You come out here with the little male bloom and you tickle the female bloom. There you have it. But uh, y'all can watch Bull. He did. Oh, Lizard. Hello, Lizard. But um, he did one here real recently. Um, y'all, I mean, I just wanted to show y'all them squash because they showing up and showing out. My Roselle is doing good. I had another one that size died off on me. Um, some of these are transplanted. They look okay, and some of them died. I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, well, we're not going we're not gonna fret over that. Um, these are my mini San Marzanos. If you're not growing mini San Marzanos, you need to be. Um, these are black cherries here. And I wanted to mention this. I tasted these um, for the first time yesterday. These are these half pole. They're a wonder, wonder bean half pole or something. I have to go back. I have the package that uh, the seeds came in. But y'all, oh, they so sweet right off the vine. I tasted them wrong. Oh, and they were so sweet. And then I just kind of cooked them, blanched them real quick. I didn't cook them for long. Well, I didn't blanch them. I kind of steamed them for about three or four minutes. And oh my goodness, you tell my good. I mean to tell you, tell my good. And my watermelons. Um, I pollinated three yesterday. I do Oh, I see some females. Your watermelons don't let them carry all the fruit they can carry. There's a female there. There's one there. So that's two. I think I just watched. It's gonna be three. No, that's a male. Two, two ain't bad. This didn't take. See how it, that didn't take. So I just got two out here. I'm gonna pollinate. Um, a lot of times, once your vines got fruit on them, they slow down putting on females. Oh, so I'm gonna pollinate those two, but I'm not. I'm not too worried about it, cause like I said, I have it's melons all in here i had moved these to the inside of the bed those two um i saw another one in there that has started swelling up here's that one again uh it's supposed to rain for four days y'all so i'm gonna basically do this one and then show y'all what the garden look like four days later um oh oh uh, and I'm, i want to see how them squash gonna do that may bust all out of them I hate it's going to rain for four days. I kind of want to pollinate those squash. I may have to come out in the rain and do it. Look at Chrissy. 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 You guarding my squash. I sure appreciate that. Thank you. So sweet. And this is my ground cherry. I can tell the roots have really gotten established. And then look. All those little babies coming up. Where those seeds drop. And then that's an acorn. But I didn't get it, it broke off. I hate it when that happens. Uh, anyway, like I need to pollinate that. I don't need to pollinate none of that stuff. Good. Oh, who? Uh uh, I don't. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. I had one that broke. Yeah, we gotta get one. We gotta move that table over there to us. Yeah. I'm sorry, that nigga won't do nothing. He won't. Yeah, I've been seeing him up down the road. Him? I'm talking about him too and the other one. Oh. Shit. They don't want to do shit. That's pitiful. You see him right here from the work. I'm not ready. See if all. Uh, oh. Uh, the Mexicans make out a dollar. Yeah, cause, cause you know they they keep that kind of stuff. Uh, I know my brother got one. Shit, that's way in the boom I know it. <laughs> All right, y'all, my bad, man. Once again, I told y'all my neighbors don't care about nothing. Uh, I'd probably be looking for me to come with another video where I'm gonna do some planting for this rain start at two, three o'clock. Uh, this is my butterfly pea. The other one, I don't know if it's going to trail up or not. This one finally decided 
try to grab on and do a little something. Oh. Two potatoes. Ain't much to see there, people. I really ain't got it. I'm going to check on these tomatoes back here. And then I'm going to let y'all go. Oh. I've been so busy around here, it don't even make sense. And you know what? I'm probably, even though it's support, we'll see, that's the thing, it's at 40%. I'm probably going to go on water now. And then water again later. Well, if it rain later, it'll be fine. Oh. Uh, check on these tomatoes I planted back in the car. Yeah, they, they done stood back up. That go one, that go uh, that and over there looking like a fool, though. Yeah, it look like they may try to do a little something. I'm shaking now. I got some cucumbers. Y'all see that? I got some cucumber over. Oh, I got two females over. Can y'all see that up under there? I got two females open. I got some blossoms. Oh, look at that. So, yeah, them, them tomatoes over there for some reason. They didn't make it. You win some, you lose some. But, uh, I ain't gonna hold y'all too much. I got a lot of stuff I'm gonna replant, redo, and re, you know. So, uh, and then once I do all that stuff, I'm gonna show y'all what I come up with. But, ooh, till next time, I gotta cut this parcel back. Till next time, see you guys later.